Hi, welcome back to Raspberry Pi. Today we are going to learn how to connect to a Raspberry Pi remotely over SSH. Now SSH will work from Linux, Mac, and Windows. So if you're running Windows 10 or newer, maybe even a little bit before 10, um, then you can actually type SSH space root at and then the IP address and log into your Pi. So let's go ahead and get started. So we've got our Raspberry Pi here waiting for us to connect and we're going to bring up a new window. So I'm actually going to bring up my own window off my own computer here and uh, which I am using Linux. Uh, but remember this does work on Mac and it does work on Windows as well. And we're going to try to connect to this system. Now if I do an IP A D D R on the Pi, you'll see that my IP address is 192.168.5.105. So 192.168, now I say that kind of fast. And a lot of you realize why I say that fast is because 192.168 is one of the private ranges that we use for local area networks. We've got the 10 dot anything. So 10 dot, well, zero to 10 dot 255, you know, so it's 10 dot anything. Then we've got the 172.16 through 172 dot three one dot two five five dot two five five and then we've got the one nine two dot one six eight dot anything now I know some people might be thinking about automatic private IP addressing a PIPA which is the one six nine dot two five four dot anything we're not gonna go into that one that's not one of our actual LAN segments there so we're not gonna worry about that but we do see that we have one nine two dot one six eight dot five one oh five so five one oh five are the really important parts right there because 192.168 well we know that's just part of a private LAN so let's go ahead and connect to that I'm gonna bring up my terminal window okay I've brought up my terminal window here so you can see I've got this little this little window uh, that is on the screen and I've got the Raspberry Pi behind it so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I can always always see that I'm gonna move that over so I can keep that in this okay I think I have that handled now uh, so we've got the Raspberry Pi there and my terminal window there I'm gonna go ahead and try to connect so I'm gonna type SSH on the wrong system and we're gonna see if we run into a problem authenticating root over SSH by the way you should not allow root to authenticate with a password over SSH remotely logging in as root locally is well probably not not that bad and logging in as root remotely if you have security keys that are sufficient is probably not that bad either uh, but we don't want to log in with root with a, uh, a pre-shared key or a password remotely because somebody can brute force our connection so let's go ahead and get started so we're gonna do SSH root at if you can see that on the screen 192.168.5.105 I'll make this a little bit bigger see if I can make that larger uh, so that everybody can see that try to make this all fit in the window here so we'll see if that works there I think everything's working together now so I'm going to press enter. First thing it says is it can't guarantee the authenticity of the host. That's fine. We want to connect to it. It's a brand new Pi. First time we've connected. Now here, root at this, it is asking for a password. Well, we don't have a password. So there is no password there and the public key was not enabled. So how can we connect? Well, let's go back over and look at the Raspberry Pi. We're going to check the settings and we will need to be, you know, connected directly to the Pi to do this. So I'm going to pop back over here. I'm going to move this window out of the way for just a moment. And I'm going to go over and look at our SSH configuration. So I'm going to do a VI, Etsy, SSH, and then SSHD underscore config. So over here, we've got a bunch of little options here for our root connect uh, account. You see that permit root login, prohibit password. We're going to look for 
the word permit and it is case sensitive. The way I'm doing that is slash, I type slash and I'm doing a permit right there. It says permit empty passwords, no. And it's got that uh, permit root login again. And I'm just going through. The way I'm scrolling down is I'm pressing the letter N as I go down. So you can see that permit root login. Well, it's, it's not there. So we don't have an option to allow root to log in remotely. Well, let's go ahead and enable that. And if you do enable this, remember, you probably want to disable it in the future. So I'm gonna go to the very bottom of the file, so it's arrowed all the way down. I'm gonna type the letter O for open a new line. Of course, you can do I for insert. You can do, uh, just press enter for a new line. And I'm gonna say permit root login. And I'm gonna pop over there and say yes. Right there, permit root login, yes. I hit escape colon WQ. And now I'm going to go over and I'm going to do a service. SSH. Or is it open SSH? Let's find out. Let's restart. Try service restart SSH. And it's like, doesn't recognize that. I'll try, I'll just do the Etsy and knit D. So Etsy and knit dot D and we're going to do SSH and restart. <clears throat> okay, restart SSH, but you know, we still have a problem. We don't have a password with root. So let's go ahead and set a password. The way we're going to do that is type P-A-S-S-W-D as root. We're currently logged into root. You can see that pound symbol. And when you do that, you see that new password? Well, I'm going to go ahead and give it a password. So I'm just going to type password right there for my password. So now I've done that. I'm going to go back over to that terminal window from my local computer there. And I'm going to just try to connect again. So I'm going to go over here and not that. I'm going to try this connection on this computer again. It's going to ask for a password. I'm going to type P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. And there we go. We're now connected over onto the Raspberry Pi remotely. Now, having this connection allows us to no longer use the Raspberry Pi keyboard, and we don't have to have the Raspberry Pi HTML, HDMI connection, all of those things. But we can do more. We don't need to enter a password every time. So let's say... We want to go back to a blank password where root cannot log in remotely. Then what we can do on this uh, this session right here, I'm going to type exit to leave the Raspberry Pi I just logged into. So exit. And then I'm going to do a SSH dash copy ID and dash I. And I'm going to do this little dot SSH here for my home directory. And I'm going to from my home directory, I'm going to specify my my SSH key. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, now that we set a password for root, and we can actually log in remotely to the root account. So, just to confirm that, once again, we'll do it really fast. We'll we'll just SSH right over and enter password, and we're on the system. Now we don't have to use a password. We can actually do an SSH copy ID and we can put our keys on the system. Now, if you haven't created keys, then you'll need to go ahead and do an SSH keygen. So that's SSH keygen, and I recommend 496 or higher for your bit length. So 496 or more. So if you do that, then after you create your keys, then you can do an SSH copy ID, the public key, never your private, you can give your public to anybody, take your public key, and then we'll do root at 192.168.5.105. Press enter. It'll say, what's the password? We'll enter password for the password. It'll say, okay, it added the keys. Well, let's go ahead and log in to that system. We're going to SSH. Notice no password required. We log straight into the system using SSH keys. Very secure, heavily encrypted, wonderful way to do it. Now we can go back over here now. 
and we can enter password. <clears throat> and we might be able to blank the password, <clears throat> but it's saying no. <laughs> so it's like, no, I'm not gonna let you do that. So we'll do this over on this system here. This password it should be dash D. Let's see, is that gonna be dash D delete? Password for the named account. And we want to delete it for root. There we go. Now we don't have a root password. So if we do try to log in with a password, it will not work. So if we SSH to our local host, this is from the Pi back into the Pi as root, then it should say, hey, are you sure you want to connect? We'll say yes. We'll enter the last password. It'll say like, oh, sorry, can't do that. Can't do password-based authentication. So fantastic. Can't get into the Pi again. That is outstanding, but we can get to it from our remote host. I hope that this helped, and this is a, a little bit technical, but hopefully if you follow through, you'll see that everything to get remote access to your Pi is a piece of cake. Look forward to talking to you next time.